Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Visa Harmony. Today, I will be discussing more information about the K-1 visa. I want to repeat this. The K-1 or fiancé visa is for those who are not married yet. The requirement is for the U.S. citizen petitioner and the foreign beneficiary to get married within 90 days when the foreign beneficiary arrives here in the U.S. using the K-1 visa. If you are already married, whether it was a proxy marriage or not, the K-1 visa no longer applies to you. At that point, you need to file for a spouse petition. That is the CR1 or IR1 visa category. If, you, if you're already married and still went through the K-1 visa, there is a possibility that you will be accused of and charged with visa fraud. And there is also a possibility that you can get deported. The U.S. has immigration laws for a reason. You need to follow it so you do not get in trouble. You cannot do whatever you want and not have consequences. I mentioned earlier that the U.S. citizen petitioner and the foreign beneficiary need to get married within 90 days upon arrival in the U.S. If for some reason you did not get married within 90 days, let's say for example, you got married on the 91st day, you missed it by one day, the adjustment of status from K-1 no longer applies to you. You will go through a totally different process. At that point, you will need to file for spouse petition and adjustment of status together. That will be an extra 535 filing fee and more requirements from you. Please follow the process. If for some reason you get derailed, please ask for advice from reputable people. Make sure you get a clear advice on what you need to do. Join our Facebook group and you can ask for advice there or you can send any questions you might have at ask at visaharmony.com.